Hello, it's James Bam from Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Sorry if I'm squinting a little bit, the sun's right there. But uh, today I'm at the Esperanza community in Bernie, Texas, and the house behind me is built by Chessmar. This is a McKinsey plan. My out-of-state clients uh, are seriously interested in this house, so of course, I'm gonna do a video tour of it. Let's go check it out. Now, I've done quite a few video tours on the McKinsey plan before. This one has the well, office space converted into a fourth bedroom, which still can be easily used as an office space. I'll show you that in a little bit. But uh, we're actually just down the road from the Brody plan that my clients closed on earlier this week, and it turned out beautiful. And this house behind me is absolutely beautiful too. Uh, the McKinsey plan is just over 2,500 square feet. And as of uh, mid-October 2023, this house just came on the market. Chessmar is asking about $590 for this house. Love the stone and stucco combination on this house. And this does have a two and a half car garage. So uh, lots of space in there. All right, my clients are inside right now. So yeah, let's uh, head on and check it out. Right, this house has a beautiful front door letting in lots of light. Now remember to hit that like button. If you do like what I'm doing here, that definitely helps the algorithms. Let's come on inside now. Yes, I've done multiple video tours of the McKinsey plan. Um, such a real popular one. Everyone that sees it really loves it. But this plan already has the upgraded beams in it. I'm thinking that's around a six to $7,000 option, but man, it really looks great. Uh, coming into this plan, you do have two bedrooms right up front. Luxury vinyl plank on the floors, which I really like those. Good sized bedrooms. I know my, uh, this house has the fourth bedroom option on it versus a office. But my client's considering doing this as their office space. <clears throat> so uh, with a view of the front of the house, view out the front nice little closet space and this room does have a access to the jack and jill bathroom that has a full shower there we go and toilet right there this house just became available and my clients are in the process of putting an offer on it. So uh, of course I am gonna do a video tour for them so they can show off their friends and family of the house that they're putting an offer in on it. Eight foot doors throughout this house, beautifully done, uh, tall baseboards, tall ceilings to the house. And I really just like the wow factor of this plan, especially with these beams in it. All right, also on the front part of the house, you do have your laundry room. Good size laundry room, got a little shelf right there. And coming into the two and a half car garage. Now when it's up, someone says two and a half car garage, it means you got your standard two car garage door, plus extra space, perfect if you wanna have your workbench set up uh, and a, have all your lawnmower equipment everything because you can still pull two vehicles in and have the normal crap that you keep in a garage tankless water heaters already there and plum for water softener that you get to pick up you probably want to choose yourself but i just want to point out that uh some builders don't finish out the garages this garage already has baseboards painting uh lighting already in here so that's really a nice feature that Chessmar does that some builders just don't do. You can see they got some work still to do on it for finishing it up. This house just got finished being built, but there's of course some touch-ups that they need to finish. All right, coming into the main part of the house, on a standard Chessmar plan, well, McKinsey plan, you're gonna have this like kind of dining room or flex room space, that you, whatever you wanna use it for. But they would also have like some type of um, movie room or another flex space just opposite of it but this plan when they this mckenzie is built with the fourth bedroom option which now opens this space up for another full bath and a bedroom here in lieu of that uh flex space entertaining thing i know the model homes they usually have like a 
movie, little mini movie theater type thing set up. But this room does have a really decent sized closet in here as well. But now my clients, like I said, talking about using a different room as an office and they're not, they're probably not gonna use this room as a formal dining room because they're not big fans of formal dining rooms, but you could change this light out and you know me, I'd probably put this as my little bar lounge type area, but you can make turn into your flex space and do whatever you want to with it. Now, one of the big selling points of the McKenzie is this uh, common, this big living room space and this giant island that Cheshmar puts in this plan. This is a really big, beautiful island, quartz countertop. Uh, Esperanza is a gas community, so we do have a gas stove. Refrigerator spot, the GE profile appliances. So it's gonna be a little bit of an upgrade from your standard GE appliances. Corner pantry. And uh, got kind of the grayish cabinets. Really like the backsplash to this. It's really neat little uh, textured and gloss looking, real pretty. Standard GE cook, gas cooktop. It does have um, your single basin stainless steel sink. I had to point out to my clients, you can get this little grid thing down there because stainless steel does scratch up uh, compared to like the granite composites. So you can put that in to help mitigate it. It does come with a water softener spigot. Once they come in, Chess Mar is gonna send in their water guys and you can talk to them about getting on a little water filtration system for that nozzle. All right, another neat thing about this little plan here is a little extra storage space they have over on this wall. A little space there, and if you're hosting a big events, they got little outlets. If so if you're putting like uh, crock pots in here, you can set those up along the way and make this a little food serving line if you wanted to do that. But wow, the McKinsey plan with the wood beams in the main living space just really looks great. So if you're considering building this plan, I would definitely recommend adding those beams. <clears throat> uh, I recently did a video tour of my clients who built a Brandon plan and they put the beams, the main walkway and in their bedroom looks great. The reason my clients are not, probably not use that as the dining room over there is because you got this space. This is a really good size space for your breakfast table or full dining room, plenty of room for that. Going outside. You got a nice size covered patio area. That light is gonna be blocked for a ceiling fan. And uh, you're overlooking this road. This house is in the back part of the community. So you're really not gonna see a lot of traffic on it. But uh, a decent sized yard. I'm not gonna say it's a big yard, but it is nice to already have these beautiful oak trees there. So definitely adds a little character to it. And it wouldn't be too difficult to build your own little fire pit kind of right back in this section. And that's perfect for just kind of entertaining. And let me go and walk on down here to see what this looks like from uh, grass level. So yeah, definitely nice down here from the grass level. They do have the wrought iron fences separating you from your neighbors. So yep, this house, these houses here are still being built. But yeah, it's nice and cozy down here with this beautiful wall. And I want to point out, I do like how they kept these oak trees and just kind of bumped the wall out around them. I mean, they could have just taken these oak trees down just to clear out the wall, but they wouldn't a little extra care and give my clients a little extra uh, space for the lawn. So it's kind of nice. So yeah, we do have some steps coming down the back porch but not as dramatic as we've seen in a lot of other spots in this community because there's a lot of topography in Esperanza. All right, let's head on into the master bedroom and check that out. All right, good size master bedroom. It does have the little knockout there gray ceiling with a really nice, pretty fan. <coughs> French doors leading into the bathroom. We're gonna have the dual vanities with a beautiful done frame mirror. 
There's the other vanity. And uh, you got a freestanding tub, kind of tucked away in the corner here, but that's a really nice soaking tub in the gate blind, so you can close those too. A pretty good size shower with the tile going all the way up. Very nicely done. And into the master bedroom closet. Lots and lots of hanging space in here because I got multiple layers of hanging racks including your off-season rack way up top and attic access right there. Speaking of access, you've got all of your ethernet cables and everything will come right into here in the little bottom white box. So a great place to put your modem, router and everything right there. And there's your shoe rack. Right, beautiful home. I've, I've helped clients buy quite a few of the McKenzie plans because they're just so nice, especially some wild factor right when you come in with a wide hallway and uh, opening up to this beautiful living space. I'm going to wrap a tour of the McKenzie plan in uh, Esperanza community, Bernie, Texas. Beautiful home. This plan is just over 2,500 square feet. Normally a three bedroom, but with this one, it's a four bedroom because they converted that flex room into another bedroom. Anyways, love, love this community. Love uh, the amenities in Esperanza. Um, my clients are looking to get it because it's a wonderful grandchild magnet. So once they're in here, the grandkids are gonna be going, we're gonna go play at grandpa's and we'll play at grandma's because they got the kids splash pad and lazy river and all that stuff. So I love this community. And you're literally, because I've timed it, eight minutes from downtown Bernie. Uh, love the downtown Bernie area. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button. Of course, subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, if you know anybody wanting to move to the beautiful Texas Hill Country area and they don't already have a realtor they're working with, feel free to share these videos with them. Let them choose for themselves if they know, like, and trust me by watching my videos. And uh, hopefully they'll reach out to me. Uh, best way to do that is to send me a text. My contact information is going to be on the final slide, but I'll also put it in the description box. All right, take care now. Bye.